Um, started January 2018. I mean, I am a graduate from 2005. I'm from Pakistan. I worked there for um, seven years as a physio, and then I came here in Canada. Did my license. Started working from January 2018 till date. So okay. Three years. And what made you come to Canada? Um, lots of things. <laughs> Got more career opportunities. Main one. Okay. The main one is more career opportunities. That's why I'm so much into um, updating, upgradation, continuing education, lots of courses, lots of things that I wanted to do, but there was a limitation there. You just did your graduation. That's all. Now you you could do a doing same thing over and over. Like it's so, so it's like this physio practice in Pakistan is. Is fairly limited to just the treatment portion. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it has changed in past eight years. Uh, I did a bachelor's degree, and after that, they've changed into a DPT. So it's a five-year program now. It's much intense and m more like a research-based kind of thing, more evidence-based. And but I always found. Uh, uh, as a limitation because of the culture and because of other limitations you can't practice it the way i can practice in canada because of the cultural barriers for a woman to practice and all those kind of thing oh, so okay. right. yeah i worked for a very uh, a recognized hospital al khan university and hospital at one of the biggest hospitals in asia i worked there for seven years so i'm very lucky very hard to get in it's a jcia certified hospital so when i came here and worked at ufa as my internship from bridging program i didn't find any difference that was the only hospital i could think of working as a physio apart from there if you go anywhere else it's hard for a woman to practice as a physio wow oh, so is it uh, you're much happier with the freedom to practice in canada then? oh yeah oh yeah oh yes and i i don't see too many pakistani women here actually being successful in uh, licensing process and going out and practicing because of you know um, the previous experience in Pakistan and stuff they come here um, as a physiotherapist on skill-based category they get the citizenship but they don't practice because they don't practice. That it's going to be the same as it was in Pakistan is that what you think I mean, it, because my main reason coming here is not to get the citizenship or anything else. My main thing was to practice physiotherapy. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm doing. But when they come here for citizenship, it's hard for them to uh, practice physiotherapy because of the barriers and everything. It's all stuck in your head and yes. how it just pulls you off from going forward. So that's the kind of thing. Just career opportunities are amazing here. It's just you have to work really, really hard. I have three kids and a husband and he's very supportive. And he just tells me, you do whatever you need to do, study, you do whatever you need to do. So good, good. it really helps. Kids? My kids are six, eight, and 11. Six, eight, and 11. Okay. Wow. And are they in online school then right now? Right now they are online school and my husband is stay at home dead for past so many years. Okay. So that's why I'm in Valley View here and he's in Edmonton. <laughs> So I get what's all the, the time in the world. What's the what's the travel time between those two places? It's three hours. Okay. So how often are you seeing everybody? I just say uh, in winter time it's uh, two to three weeks. Okay. But summer time was almost every week, but uh, winter is really bad here. So two to three weeks. So that makes me when I come home around four, I just make sure that I utilize my time. Um, so nicely i just do some courses and stuff and eventually i'm planning to go back to edmonton so all right well i wish you uh, all the best of luck with, uh, with all those things it's amazing yeah i have four kids at home so <laughs> you know what i mean right <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of work with kids absolutely